Hey YouTube, Dawson awesome Rider here. Welcome to my review for the Power Rangers Dino Fury Deluxe Chroma Fury Saber. So this, for now, is all intents and purposes our sort of main version of the Chroma Fury Saber, which is the main weapon inside Armor of the Rangers, which also can read the keys in the show. This thing can use keys, but it can't read them. Um, it's a very interesting release as its main gimmick is scanning colors, which according to Hasbro is a favorite pastime of kids for centuries. I uh, will talk about that in a second though, but let's go ahead and just go over it, talk about it look-wise, we'll do a comparison to other versions we have and then go into just the way it functions. So look wise, it's honestly fine. It's not bad. It looks a little bit better to me in person than it did in the pictures. I mean, just detail wise, it's honestly solid. Like I think the paint here looks pretty good. Like the silver paint is a nice shiny silver. It's not that cheap gray. The gold here, it's not like shiny or anything, but I think the only one that really has a nice shine is the, the Memorial Edition one, but it looks good. The red eye looks good. Like color wise and detail wise, it honestly looks pretty accurate. And the blade here is kind of see-through because of the way the gimmick it's gonna be and then you have the red right here uh, but it does look a little bit kind of like not quite see-through but kind of white see-through in, in some of the other toys so it's not too far off and I think that it, it feels and looks like a decent quality the only problem I have with it aesthetically is it does look a little weirdly squished like the proportions here and the proportions for the handle like in the show and in other toys it's an actual handle whereas here it's not a handle it looks kind of like someone free transformed it like without any locks on so that it got a weird proportion but 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 it looks a little bit less weird in person. I'll just say that, and it's honestly not that bad. But let's take a look at it compared to some other versions. First up, this is the Deluxe Ryu Soldier version. This is the primary one that came out during the Japanese versions line that did read keys and is basically the main release for it. So you can see the differences in how this looks. You know, this is much more accurate to the show in terms of the actual dinosaur head, not the blade so much. The blades are actually, the blade on this is actually longer, if you can see that. It seems a little bit weird because of how you have to line them up and because this is so much bigger and then this as you can see has the actual chomping gimmick the eye changes and stuff like that and it, like I said it has a key reader so you have the differences there but this one is going to be aesthetically a little bit better but they're very different toys and we have right here this is the Halloween toy which I most recently covered this comes out so that you can have an accessory for your Halloween costume it obviously doesn't have a reader um, you know I actually thought this was a pretty decent ish stand-in if you're just looking for a display piece like it's got solid paint it's a little bit flat but the proportions are a little bit better but this ended up not being as bad as I thought, but I just thought I would, you know, give the comparison for those that may just be looking for a display piece for your shelf. I guess it just kind of depends on what you want. And last but not least, right here, this is the Ryu Soulken Memorial Edition. It's effectively like the Sentai version of a complete selection, which is one-to-one -one scale. So if you're looking for the absolute best version of this that's the most show accurate, at least in terms of the look, and it reads keys, then that's what you're going to get. But keep in mind, if you're only a Dino Fury fan, the noises this is going to make are going to seem completely weird to you. But I think it was worth noting that, you know, this is almost not a fair comparison, because this is like your standard retail American toy, and this is like a the high-end collector's one from Premium Bandai. But I thought it was worth showing off. Now let's talk functions. So you have a button here which is going to activate lights and sounds. It's also motion activated, but that also comes with some sort of clashing noises. And then this button right here, when you press it, this bottom thing will scan the color of whatever you're on, and then it's going to change the LEDs, and then they'll also activate new sounds. And then it'll default to whatever one you scanned last. So if you scanned red, it's going to show up red. I think I scanned something white or black right before this, but let me just show you basically what happens when you turn it on. So it'll cycle through some colors. And this noise here will let you know that it's searching and it's waiting for you to press the button on the bottom or it's waiting for you to slash. And you can hear some different noises. And those noises will also activate when you open this up. And you chomp it. It's basically the same noises and it also happened kind of like lightsaber clashing noises, but I do have to say, even though that's not a feature, I appreciate that you can do this. And, I, and they can fit keys. This right here is your standard key, I believe I'm putting it the right way, that comes with the figures. So it will fit in, but no noises or anything like that. But you can pretend, well if you have it on, you can pretend. But so at least they give you that. These are the ones that come with the Megazords. Those can also fit. That didn't activate, it's just this that's happening. But you can do that, which I say, again, even though it's not the feature, I appreciate that you can do that. I think kids will appreciate it too that want to reenact the show. But now let's get on to the main gimmick. Oh, press this down. For whatever reason, I recognize this as green. Ooh. 
Let's do that again and see what it recognizes this time. Still green. Usually this activates as white. Hold on. There we go. We got it to activate. This is clear. And you know, again, it'll do similar things. Okay, now let's go to a random variety of objects to scan different colors. So we've already gotten green and white. I'm going to use this Gravity Falls box set. This usually does yellow for me. Yep. There we go. Got yellow. And this random, seemingly almost generic book is a random Star Wars book. This one actually is when you scan black, it'll circle through all the colors. So white will just do a clear light and black will have you cycling through all the colors. All right, this blue Star Wars book should give us blue. There we go. And that kind of makes like a soothing bell water noise. Now let's get on brand here with an actual Power Rangers comic book that's green. Can we activate green again? And then this is pink that will activate red. And then just lastly, if you mess up the scanning, it'll make that error noise. So you get the general idea for it. Those are all the ones that I could activate with what I had around the house. You know, I got red by just using my hand, and then I brought out that pink comic for Beyond the Grid on sale now. No, I'm just kidding. Um, to get pink, but I don't think there is a pink, or at least I don't have anything in my house that will scan as pink. But I just kind of assumed it would do all the ranger colors, but I guess pink, at least for me, that was the pinkest thing I had in my house and it scans as red, but you get the general idea. And honestly, this thing's pretty neat. You know, I understand there's a lot of complaints and I, I have it too about, it's weird that they didn't want to have a toy that functions a little bit more like the show, especially since the keys don't do it, because I know as a kid there was stuff that like didn't function like it did in the show that bothered me. Like, to be fair with this one, I was a dumb kid, but I thought I was disappointed that the web shooters were just silly string and not actual web shooters. But, you know, I was dumb. But you know what I mean. That's the same general idea. And it would be nice for them to have a version where you have the keys that flip and that can read and kids can play with all that. This, I think it's going to be a lot of fun for kids. It's definitely a weird gimmick. And it was weird to me that in the Hasbro, like, uh, Fan Friday, they said, oh, you know what kids do? They love scanning colors. I'm like, what? Where did that come from? That's not a thing. Don't pretend that's, that's a thing. But regardless, it actually is pretty neat. It's pretty fun technology. I can see kids having fun running around the house scanning different things. I kind of had fun with it myself, the way it worked. And I like that it activates not only different noises but different lights and all that stuff. It would have been cool if maybe there was a dual gimmick where you had the color scan and then the keys also activated different sounds so you get the best of both worlds. But this ended up being cooler than I thought for what it is which is primarily a fun toy for kids. So I would say if you have a kid I think they'll have a lot of fun with this. If you're a collector it might not be for you. It makes it okay-ish if not warped display piece but honestly not too bad if you want something that looks decently like it even though it's a small size to put on your shelf and maybe have a little bit fun with. But again, I do understand that it is kind of weird that they don't have one that functions quite like it. But I will give them props for actually letting this have the keys in it. Even if it doesn't do anything, that's something. So this ended up being cooler than I thought. But that's about it for this one, though, guys. Until next time, if you like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps, and ring that bell so you get notifications for my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.